Hey, hey, hey. Good morning, New Yorkers. Good afternoon here in London. And uh, welcome to another live, true live scalping session with the Mohawk 4X team. And um, yeah, today we'll be looking at the New York Open in about 10 minutes time. And then we're going to trade some of the news that's coming up, um, the economic optimism report for May in 38 minutes after that as a few fed speeches later on so it's pretty pretty nice straight scalping today there's there's only that uh, one major kind of news event to keep an eye on apart from the world news as well so we're going to look at us 30 we're going to look at gold we'll look at nas and obviously we had an addition to our chart which is our stochastic which is features as part of our axe trading system and um We've added this just to give an extra confirmation for a few people who are missing out certain trades and entries to get a better entry and to stop you um, getting out of um, trades early when you think things are going to reverse on you. And the combination of the stochastic and our, our boutique RSI have been really, really good so far. And I've been back testing this for a few weeks before showing it to my group. Now it's here on you. So we'll see if you want to know how to use all this and also how to gain access to the system and come our team then you go to www.mohawk4x.com and all the information is there and in the description of the youtube channel hmm. right coffee excellent so we've got about seven minutes or so to go to the open as you can see we're looking at us 30 uh, we're trading today with a uh, 946 pound account which is about 1200 dollars um, we did some trading this morning on dax and all the little bits that's really good took some profits out so i wanted to start the stream of about a thousand pounds that's kind of what i'm trying to do so it's a, a small account to most people it's kind of medium you know, it's high for some it depends uh, but that's the kind of level i recommend you kind of start with to be able to do this strategy and uh, to take some drawdown and also into multiple positions and with IC markets as you know leverage is either 1 to 200 or 1 to 500 and that's all you need to know that's that's the way to do it and again I'll help people get set up in the group if anybody joins and had doesn't know about leverage margin etc year over year stripping out food and energy so we've also got bloomberg we're plunged into at the moment obviously tomorrow is all about cpi and it'll be the big report uh, an hour before new york open the inflation report expected to be eight percent break that eight percent so um today's going to be smooth the scalping tomorrow it's going to be very volatile <laughs> so it's going to be interesting to see that and we will we will go live you can see there nas three days in a row of severe losses um also gold has also pulled back as well gonna raise a little bit we had some good signals on gold and gold now sweet 1860 kind of level looking to come down here on the open as you can see We're looking for confirmations on price action and also on our stochastic and RSI together to give us an entry when we're normal doing normal scalping. Obviously, we're going to go with the direction of the RSI and price action for the open in about five minutes. We're going to go in on US 30. Now the nice bullish on here, which will continue. As you can see wouldn't have taken a buy here you'd have you'd have got in on a buy here ended the buy when stochastic went red and now you may slightly get back in on a buy um stochastic on green and curling up so this is a good opportunity to, to nip in for a buy i'm not because we're so close to the open we'll wait and see if we get a big reversal or a continuation up to our next points of interest line uh, based on support and resistance and Fibonacci combination. Uh, a strong ball move trend. It's eighty percent bullish, but it is falling, so it's losing some power. Dashboard is tails. Load up our broker. 
on there. So, as we're only doing a thousand, we're going to be going in at to what standard 10 cents. Might go two. Say so, we're better off going in on one standard 10 cents. Hip. Looking at ten dollars per one point smooth, <clears throat> and go for two. Like I say, two is a bit risky with the margin. You're not going to get many. Also, why I'd rather do multiple trades rather than sit on one, as you know, at that run. So we'll see. Like I say, if we get a confirmation, RSI goes higher and the castic is green, then obviously we're taking buys. If RSI dips, goes down red, we're taking. New York City this morning. Good morning. Three day losing streak. Not four so far, at least. We're positive 1.5 on the SP. Yeah, markets have pulled back a little bit. Three days in a row now, futures are looking good. This is going to be interesting to see. 320, right now, sub 3%. At 296.53, we'll build on that in just a moment. That's the price action. Here are your morning calls. First up, B of A upgrading a rally morning to the 7:30 price target, highlighting the stock's historical outperformance during periods. We can do this. Piper Sandler downgrading upstart to neutral, pointing to numerous headwinds, including rising loan rates due to more challenging conditions. That stock is down 55 percent. Gold's come back to us quite nicely. I haven't traded gold for a while. Got a couple of wins on it yesterday. Um, so yeah, we're back. And having this stochastic and extra confirmation has definitely helped those in the group. They re-enter on a trend or exit a trade as well. At the moment, they would sell off here. Hold potentially, but we'll wait and see for the open. Nice blue zone. A heavy support or resistance zone. So we could get a sell off, we just don't know. We're all green at the moment, so it's looking to be a buy and break above there. Two minutes to go. Make sure I'm loaded up. So we're not gonna be we're gonna go not gonna go for massive wins on here. Gold, I'm just gonna load up gold and can get away with uh, 0.5 on gold, which is 50. Um, cents per hip. Obviously, gonna pay commission on that of about four dollars each way. So you have to take that into consideration. So that lowers it a little bit. So I could go six, one eight one. Yeah, potentially so zero point six. So we'll see. We'll try and jump in on a couple of things on US thirty. Obviously, US thirty. You're not going to win as much with a smaller account. But this is just for entertainment purposes and just to show you guys this works how it works soaring energy prices and a short supply of key chemicals that produce synthetic fertilizers so we're nearly there and horse manure prices soaring even human waste is in demand for the countdown we've got 53 seconds as you can see on the ticker here on the timer <laughs> let's see what we can get let's see how we go uh, uh, we're looking at gold as well look as you 40 second port resistance on US 30 and with that on port on no news before this open so you know again would continue for a pullback or a continuation or run RSI is high at 78 so I'd like it to come down but again get in there and see it's we can get away. Good luck, everybody. Ten seconds. Let's see what we get. Has search on the nice wick up there just before, which usually indicates a wick filler. You can simply type phrases in everyday English in the command. Oh, see, market moves. And we're open. Yeah. Well done, Justin. You joined Morning, us. Morning. You're in. You're in, You're in bro. <laughs> yep. You can enter phrases. <laughs> Hey, we're Just in. Just for the open. We're in, and I got two trades already. So we got, um, yeah, I got twenty dollars there. Two trades straight away. Hit my TP. Really good. Clicked him. I've already got. I've got an automatic preset. You see, uh, them ending. So that was two trades away already. Two winners. And you were third. Oh, nice little, nice little spike up on gold. 
Tapping a heavy resistance there at 1863, 1864. Yeah. You've got RSI green, stochastic green. But as a wick filler. Seconds away from the oven in Ballin, New York City this morning. That push. Good morning. Things Not. For now, I have no idea how long it's going to last. Futures up by 1.6% on the S&P on the Nasdaq 100, up 2.5%. Bouncing back from a pretty... And they got preset levels, day. this kind of thing. They take into consideration the mission spreads. We like trading, so yeah, look at that for US 30, that's perfect. Again, you want to be holding this if you can until casting is red. Race, that was easy, that was easy open this time. For stock this morning, as you were just showing that Nasdaq 100 really leading the way up two and a half percent yearly, the best day in almost a week. Not surprisingly, we're talking about the big Thursday. tech names that are really leading the way. Earlier, we were looking RSI at RSI 86, Castor just coming through the neutral zone, popping higher in the momentum there, but it gets off that heavy resistance. It's March peak. Alphabet also recovering. Amazon well, and green and green at the moment. In a big way recently. Interestingly, Duke Real and you'd like to say you've got a heavy resistance to watch out for. Uh, so that ties into Amazon after Amazon earnings. Uh, nice the space is down. A world of pain, but today Duke a reprieve being bought by Prologis. That seems to be the case for all stocks today, John. A bit of a reprieve, but to your point, will it last? Look. Abby, thank you. About a minute in. Information technology top of the pile up 2.7%. The winner yesterday staples. The relative loser today. Some returns there, but just not as big as what we're seeing in inf information technology. Staples up by about a third of 1%. Want to head to the West Coast and catch up with Bloomberg. Can jump in. Move as far as what it's going to do. Nice. Ed Ludlow, Beautiful move up. Yeah, it's not looking. Usually, gets to 86. Now I'm looking for the reversal. Like to be this Tuesday morning. Of course, that follows three. <coughs> if that pushes up and wait for it to pull back. ETF. The bottom line is this, John. That on a total return basis, the declines of the eight days see Arc surrender its outperformance relative to the S&P 500 since Green. the ETF's inception in 2014. A heavy resistance. Where do we go from here? And I tell you why. If you look at the composition and those names on your board, they represent Doing the same. most stressed corners of the equity market. Higher multiple stocks. Oh, pull them back from that resistance zone. Stocks in the software space where profits are distant. And Kathy Wood, right here. Down, Mr. Stochastic still green. This name, these names that as we emerge out of the pandemic, you do yourself right. Get on the next two. The declines on a year-to-date basis tell a very different story ultimately good two quick wins is down around 75 percent straight in 2021 in february but this move. is also astonishing that despite those year-to-date losses on arc innovation etf john they get this green and green so you see this is where you should have been in on the trade or the open all that that you should have been in rsi green price action above our baseline in your entry which you didn't know is going to go back down on the open. The open, that's where I would have been in. <laughs> and same in on gold as well. Gold had been in where we were just a few minutes before. Then you would have been out of the trade on the blue zone. Now we're looking for sales. Again, the RSI can go into the neutral zone, back to green. You don't want to be taking a sell until or until the stochastic is red as well. Because it's just going to bounce up our, our uh, neutral, our baseline, and our blue zones. So it's just the holding at the moment. The Microsofts. The Apples, the Amazon, cybersecurity, those Looks have right. been just cool. to get annihilated. The those, I believe, are going to be the names that lead us out of some of these dark days. Dan, looking at some of your price targets on some of these names, though, got any thoughts about revising any of this? Let's just go yeah, sell. You've got Apple at You're going to buy from the bottom and back up. We've got ten. Uh, move it set. Talk about later and with a really, either. really punchy price target of fourteen hundred. What makes you think we achieve those numbers, Dan? Look, I mean, obviously, we're, we're going through the eye of the storm right now. So, so it all comes down to, you know, ultimately stress testing 2023 numbers. That's what all my conversations with investors, 
I'd say over the last week, that's the focus. Now, clearly, you, you're going to see multiple compression. Right? Push down. We're going to have to, you know, look to see how these numbers ultimately pan out. But I don't look out John, the next month or two in terms of. The so I didn't pick the on gold, but it bounces back off here. If we get green, months, and I think that's yeah, stochastic closes up, change it. Yeah, look, it's gone red. So that's. No. And that's what I wanted to talk about. So the last few years, you've been bullish, you've been right. You come on this program, I give you the time, we talk about it. You were right. Bounds. Been stocks forward, always, always well, bounce back. there. I'm just wondering if something's changed here, Dan, where you all start red. to change your Red and red, which is C, price action, price gap. Oh, I think clear, clearly. I mean, if I look, uh, we downgrade a bunch of names over the last week. You know, I think it's one where it's a different market. Dips. And I think some of these names, some of the high growth, unprofitable names you're not going to see that multiple expansion you're seeing multiple compression that's why you know we've revised a bit of our playbook in terms of more defensive i'll call them more rock and gibraltar stocks than maybe some of the ones that are further down the food chain when it comes to high priority items and i think this is not a rising tide with saw boats and that's why we're dusting hey what do we get we've got 23 we've got 30 dollars there on the gold cell jumped in 0.6 post that and again why did i take it because we had the confirmation of the red the red and the red and that gap i knew i wasn't going to hold for 100 because there wasn't enough gap between that and the next points of interest but i sell on oh they're the confirmations you want to look for that trades you want to be taking well we're waiting for the bigger move get the confirmation and this could push down a bit more but we know we're against our baseline a blue zone a points of interest so again if stochastic points lower remember when the stochastic goes lower down here taking these cheeky trades like here look can win you but also are dangerous they're the you're waiting ideally for the stochastic to come back up like we are now look kind of tried to go up on the open hasn't done now you know we're waiting for green and our side to follow it eventually unless it goes lower so you know you want to be taking trades ideally when rsi is crossed over the neutral and the stochastic is curling from a very oversold or overbought position they're better quality trades so that one here you know was okay one was two but if it was kind of in this zone here like this one here i wouldn't have taken that sell okay it was a winner it was well below our 15 line so i would have been waiting for buy which would have been here later on here a few minutes later <coughs> so this one was okay but you have to look at the areas where you're going to get out and you can see you need to get out you know, don't hold that was good that's 30 dollars you know that's that's a good uh a good start on a year to date basis you know tesla rivian lucid remember we only started with 900 um you know pounds 900 we're already 23 13 so we're 50 so we're about 75 dollars up so that's good you know we're playing percentage games here now there's a mover down now's a further move down look again wait you might get a bounce you're on the breakout zone wait and see the blue zone to wait breaks this level then we can go in for an upsell down to our new tesla is an insane name to follow but it measure this tracks the same fundamentals that every other again 88 so you're only looking for five pips it's only a small move but we're at 1400 on tesla i was looking at your rivian price target where are you us 30 us 30 is now pulling back it to be again there's no buy yet because the stochastic has just gone red Apple. Need that to come back to being green again. Old, you're going to wait for this level to be broken. It's still bullish. You can see, we're still 70%. Good chance of a buy between here and here. We just need to wait for the confirmation. It's 27 pips there. So the idea is that if you was in a buy here and you were holding it throughout the open, you know, now you would have ended the trade. As soon as you see the stochastic cross red, that's where you get out of the trade and wait for the next move. Ultimately, as Ed talked about, I mean, clearly headwinds in the near term, but but we look out to, you know, our oh, well, 34, so over the longer term to where this well, is maybe. heading. And let's just call it is the last four months, and we've been dead wrong being bullish on Going to do five pips. We 
take a much more longer term time horizon in terms of fundamentals. You've talked about the winners and the losers across the tech space. Can you do what did we get? Went in there, got £12.59. That's about $18, $19 there in like 10 seconds. Again, just jumped in and out on that. Didn't want to hold too long. As you can see, what happened, it spiked and hit our neutral daily pivot. So we'll class that as the open, as the buy, the cheeky little buy up as you can see, went from here to there. Now we've had a pullback, the daily pivot, you can see it's been respected the three times already. The castic is low, so RSI, so even if, even if the RSI comes lower, I want it to break this zone before I take another trade. Now stochastic can pop up and it can take price action with it. So again, you wait for that confirmation. Again, you could have held, you could have held this trade until it goes green, but as it's on our neutral support, it's dangerous. Yeah, and USC look just ranging around, maybe waiting for this news. We've got the news coming. So I'm, I've always been just fill this all in. It was really got Fed speech, I think that's finished now. We've got this in 17 minutes. The uh, TIP economic optimism, which we do like to trade. One of your recent favorites. Yes. Now uh, let's see. I can't remember. Recent favorite, but I've forgotten which way the higher is it. Oh, okay, so it's the usual, yeah. So, if you're trading gold, you want to be going the reverse again. The moment we're hedging, so we're waiting for the move on the RSI, the stochastic to confirm that. Um, we're not just jumping in like we used to do on the, the news releases. We haven't talked about what's happening markets in the market over the last few years, and I'll talk about that in a moment. Wait for that. Looks like the banks are heading for the exit amid a regulatory crackdown. Goldman. Yesterday was a red day for everything. Yeah, you could just put a sell in. That was it. It was a good. Uh, yeah, it was a good day yesterday. So absolutely everything. Crypto was down. Oh God, yeah, I sold. I had to sell. So I sold so much crypto yesterday because it's just gone. You know what I mean? And the record's going to go lower. And I know it's all fud, but when people talk, they talk themselves into. And they say it's going to go lower before it gets better. You know, you could be talking 22, 23,000 on Bitcoin um, when we get a bounce. So there's a lot of people taking their whatever profits they've made already, keep it to one side and buying again at the lower price. That's a sensible thing to do. Yeah. Everybody should have sold whenever it was over 62,000. Yeah, I know. You want to say, look, here you go, look, are we going to get, we've got red, we've got green, so again, this is the good thing about having the stochastic, because usually you might be tempted to take a sell, and again, yeah, you could probably get a few pips, you don't know where to exit, so again, you wouldn't want to take a sell now until Horizon is red, with the red on the stochastic, I mean, this is a good thing, a lot of people just trade stochastic, crossover, it works a lot of the time, but also doesn't, so you need an extra confirmation, by the sell here, look, you know, went red, put it down on, on its own, you took a sell, look what happened, got a, got a pip or two, and got out, you know, you wasn't watching the support level, the RSI is telling you green, don't sell, you know, and then when you get the double confirmation, green and green, it's winner. Gold, like I say, look, just reversed up from our neutral support. As you can see, RSI is just curling up, and the gas is still pretty, pretty wild, but it is low. It's low. It went down to that level here, 2.4, and it's around there now. So I wouldn't be taking any sells on this. I'm waiting for the bit to go green. Then if it drop red again, then I might. Same as the RSI coming out of the zone. Now it's gone green, look, you see. And then also, is there going to be any enforcement action? So this is where potentially you're looking for buys. And to your point, some investors have lost a lot of money here. Tonali, awesome. As always, on top of the... Bounced off the 1860 level. Below our baseline, though. So you never know. You know, like I say, it does repaint, as you can see. Coming up, investors up and green's going red. You're going to wait for a curl up on it. That's how you use a stochastic. 
Same as the RSI is flattened out. Really, you want the RSI to be above our average line. Again, confirmation of a buy. Eighteen sixty is that fire power frame pivot. That, that whole zone right there. I'd be waiting to see a good break away from it before I did anything. Wall Street opened sharply higher. Broke below our neutral resistance look for the day now, so it could be interesting. Broke lower and the push down. In a reverse, yeah, look at that, it's going down. Yep. Start exploring to see what's moving. Another sell here. Visit Bloomberg.com webinars. Five. Perfect. That is the second leg to winner. Move on that in green, so it's going to wait out on that. That was some five pit winner there, twenty-five dollars. Definitely waiting for some kind of reversal. Uh, US 30 is doing the same, stunning level of support coming through. Look at that, just broke red there. Our breakout is. Brilliant. Two sells there, and we got 14 and 14, so we got 28 pounds, which is about 40 dollars on the sell on US 30. And why did I take it? Because so I just crept out of the neutral zone. The, the stochastic was red. Perfect, that's all you need. Again, I just set that for 50, I think, on that. So we have a hot keys. 80, 80 points, 8 pips. That's all I'm um, holding for. Again, I might set that to... We keep it on 80. I set that for DAX, you say. I uh, get like $25 trade. You just enter multiple trades, that's the way to do it. Um, 
but it's, it's 1462 on US 30, about 21 on DAX, uh, a bit more on golds. There, that's the perfect entry, it's what you want. Transaction breaking below our baseline, RSI coming out the neutral zone, stochastic pointing sharply down, that's as good as it gets. You, how long you hold it, put drop loss in, blah blah blah, do multiple trades. I'm not going to tell you all that, you know, I'm just showing you where these entries should be and what you should be doing, to, you know, taking them. And obviously a lot of people, like I say, you hold stochastic until it goes green. I was sat on some support here, so you need to wait. Gold, all going to break. Think about excess inventory. Julie just reading that the first thing i thought of was peloton this morning too much beautiful as a w to a nice m second leg working from your perspective with this in mind yeah i think for us it's really critical to be looking at balance sheets we're always trying to avoid highly levered companies but especially right now with interest rates climbing the way that they are it's critical to be focused on clean pristine balance sheets um and so Gold while back is good. Here, what yeah. everyone is saying in terms of focusing on valuation i think the quality of the businesses is really critical so software names for example yes, 50 points maybe but they're durable businesses they're very capital efficient but the news in about eight minutes time so be careful so for, for us we're continuing to look we're at over overbought oversold sorry you know, on both stochastic and the rsi now we just sat just nicely on this quick down but we sat our breakout lines you can I, think at a I would wait. You see, just kick tilt, it's gone green. So that's why you don't take the trades on this level. Hang on. At a similar multiple as Google, right? When Halliburton's finances are a little bit dependent on, on what Putin does versus Google's finances are dependent on what everyone on planet Earth does, right? It's a little bit of a more diversified customer space. So I think when you think about where energy is, there's the recognition that this stock's the most stable market. It's dependent on a lot of geopolitical. 30 doing the same, sat on support, so got in that sticky cell, and I think got out on the breakout zone, and now in moving more towards size. We get back into a neutral, it's it be above our average. This goes green at the bottom, that's a perfect trade. If it curls up and goes green, our size green, then we're going back up. What I like about small caps right now is I think it's positive to be more focused and, and depends on the news single line of business i think it's positive to be more dependent on just the u.s economy because if you look out over the horizon of all geopolitical economies the u.s is probably the least bad and i think it has probably the best positive fundamentals that are going to support it so i like small cap because the businesses are focused but not all small caps are the same many of them are over levered many of them have businesses that aren't really very high quality so you have to be really selective some of those software names are, are quite positive and i think i would focus on businesses that have less exposure to the consumer because i think the consumer is going to have a very hard time over the medium term before this starts to work here we go look we've got green on stochastic we've got an rsi that's creeping into neutral so we're getting ready here Obviously, if it's below the baseline, remember it's a risky counter trend trade. It could just end there and fall back down. So, I want to get back up to that heavy resistance. The markets want to pull back from yesterday's losses. I mean, saying. I mean, at this point, I'm surprised that they're not going door to door telling people that they're going to be raising rates. I mean, it's probably because it's like a tight labor economy. Using five minutes time. 47 is the consensus. Anything above that should push the markets higher. The low obviously will take it lower. So we're well out ahead of that. So we'll see what gold does on that. You can right now start to wait for the back into finish my coffee in positioning because I think generally speaking, their businesses are the most durable. <sighs> Surprise gold didn't rally whenever the market sold off yesterday. <laughs> Mm. Weird. Yeah, yeah, just not going the way we normally expect it. I mean, just look at that, just down, up, ranging around. That sat on support. 18, that 1860 is a heavy area to try and break. Yeah. Long there multiple, multiple historical touches there. But yeah, our next support level is 1850. Moment, 
you know, as plastic is blow, looking to curl up green. You're sitting, it's, it's a dangerous area. You just don't know, is it a buy, is it a sell? Nobody knows on this, it's just gonna wait. See if this news is on. Look. Lots happening on Wall Street. It's the basic law of economics. It validated what the market was already pricing. Need to catch up? This is Bloomberg Wall Street Week. I'm David Weston. We've got the information. Zone at the bottom is a support. You've got the breakout zone. You know, RSI is curling up. Stochastics curling up. Momentum could be running out on the bear run. Nose. Friday with replays all weekend on Bloomberg Television. Wait, Radio. wait. The US 30, look at that in the holding pattern. Is it going to push up for a buy? Is it going to drop down again? Again, I wanted it to be a buy, would be nice. Eh, uh, start for later. Great question. That's going to be the best question I get all night. I'm glad you asked that. Bloomberg Television. Top experts. Great questions. Mm -hmm. About 4K on the S&P. Energy and tech leading the way. About 25, 26 minutes in. The Nasdaq 100 bouncing back by 1.8%. That's the price action. Here's your trading diary. President Biden speaking at 11.30 on inflation, followed by a meeting with Mario Draghi at the White House. There you go. This afternoon. The Fed speak from Walla Kashkari, Mester and Bosti all throughout the day. Then tomorrow morning, the big one. It's a CPI print. In CPI is the big one tomorrow. On headline, at least 8.1%. from. We'll be live for that. 8.5. From New York City, thank you for choosing Bloomberg. Thank you. This was the countdown to the open. This is Bloomberg. We've got one minute to go, two minutes to go, it's counting down. Good luck everybody. Are we going to get the green and the green for a buy? The rain. Nope, we've gone up to two, two lot sizes now on US 30 as I've got some money in the bank. We're above my 900 that I started with, so good. Like I said, we're sticking with 0 0.5 on gold. Five and two on US thirty. It's a margin of about two hundred pounds sixty. Always kind of times it by five to give me enough leverage. Let's see, get a trade on. Gold's well, as you can see. Break our pivot. Go. 30 seconds, 40 seconds. Spoils is worsening the damage from decades of fossil fuel exploitation, creating one of the world's most severe ecological disasters. Fed speech after Fed speech after Fed speech, but later on. Three hours. Then our API oil will be back for that. 9.30 p.m. End of, the, end of the New York session. I'll be trading that this week. It's been a winner last good. Such wood. Yeah, it's been a good one, API. Back to norm. Right, here we go. Let's see what we get. It's dropping. Thirty. Exclusive interviews with the most influential figures in finance. Lloyd Blank Fine. Deflation is a terrible thing. Six Deflation green and green. Kathy Wood. Bounce again. Drop. Be in the pole position to dominate. Jeremy Grantham. We've had a very, very abnormal honeymoon Goldilocks period. First Level. available on the Bloomberg terminal, then on Bloomberg Television and Bloomberg.com.
Front row, the best he's got to, the far side's got to break that level. Be a buy. Thirty pips we can gain. It's selling. Yeah, dropping like a stone. Go, oh, yeah, worse than expected. Why are they? Pepsi's number fever campaign in the Philippines. Let's see. Has probably gone down in history as one of the biggest marketing disasters in history, mainly because of a human error that led Pepsi to down, down, down. We're going to get red. The resulting chaos caused riots, civil unrest, and even death. Reporting this story took over a year. One was the result against 47, so way worse than expected. Unlucky winners. And to find out exactly what happened back then in the 1990s. Hey, the rest of these pushed down and we hit TP. We did it. We got 16 and 15, so we got 31. We got about $40 on that. Go, just trading two. So nice win on the sell. Also, so heavily influenced by America. American culture is everywhere you look in the Philippines. Wanted, want news to react how we used to have it. They love all things American. Drop. And that extends to their, their love for soft drinks. Pepsi Cola. In on it. In the 1990s, it was everywhere. Could move even more. I'll take another sell. If the RSI and Stochastic go, that was it was a fierce battle for market What did gold do? Gold again. Bet on that. It's stuck against this. So Pepsi decided to roll it out internationally. So you would have thought it would be a buy on gold. Let's see. Got. Oh, got. Uh, any five pips. Do you want to really wait to move on this? What they more going on gold? RSI's creeping up. Castic's going nice and green. That's what we'll see. It, you know, just it says break this heavy load area. I don't think we got enough gas to break 1860. I could be wrong though. Never know. Our side's gone across key levels, across into that forty. Kids were saving up their pocket money to buy a bottle of Pepsi. Parents were squirrelling away all of the bottle caps in bags. I go up to. I just spike up to that. I mean, that's worth it then. That's ten pips with spreads. It was a national phenomenon. This is a, this is a center leg of the wave too. Number fever Eight, yep. Pepsi sales every month from ten million dollars to fourteen million dollars. It had a huge impact on Pepsi's bottom line. Same time US thirty, what's it doing? A ranger, there is the new spike. Spike, right trade. Again, look at that. Again, this is why it's so important. This average RSI line is very important. You know, the less risky trades are trading the RSI the right side of it. Bells below it, eyes above. Obvious. We're just waiting for that, and you know, changing over. Plastic screen and going up. That you know you're good to go. As I said, we put the sell on this. Our base lot was an expected new. Arms about that. But now I want to see if it's going to be a further downside. You want red and red. Going to range from gold. Gold's going to. 59 seconds and they announced that the competition would go on for a few more weeks one night on the television news flip to nas 100 and have a look at that as well three four nine the problem was three four nine had already been allocated as a non-winning number in earlier campaigns 
So far, so good. We took one, two, three, four trades on the open, all winners. One, two, three, four trades on the news, all winners. So eight trades in. I say from 950 was with some people had 10 30 three, four, nine boxes. 60. people were dancing in the street celebrating they were about we're about 180 dollars that's pretty good it's more than 10 percent which is again most people you end at that you end at five percent so 10 percent is good enough Pepsi realized very early that there was a problem we go is the move look at that rsi now Back into the neutral. Is it going to stick? Is it going to hold? Got to hold that level. Six. Eighteen fifty eight, still holding eighteen fifty eight. US thirty again doing nothing yet. The neutral zone go perfectly well. It's neutral zone down. It's gone up. Red, green, red. So again, we're just waiting. interesting one if gold can do it exploded it killed her and an innocent bystander who was just a child and injured many others when i was in the philippines i tracked down anasita's daughter cindy and the new her husband raul it was clear to my own gold still very upset you know a family had been see the rsi didn't do it it's a hold 44 five See the next candle is a crucial one. One minute to go. Eighteen fifty-eight. Holding. The biggest revelation from my oh, goodness. Was nice buy on that. Somehow involved in bombing their own truck. I found a news old. Fifty seconds to go. Forty seconds. Are we going to be in on a buy? We're going to be selling. We're going to be selling because the capital So we're only looking for buys on gold. While well, that's RSI to match it. Break that. Devon now struggling. Dead. I just thought that was that was so shocking and of course Pepsi denied it but 14 seconds to go company would be accused of bombing their own get buys six seconds the contest had sparked so much anger in the Philippines because it landed at just this really weird time in down look so that resist it was during a crazy election that was racked with allegations of that one i could say because we're still kind of looking for the buy but there's no trade on that at the moment while it plays around our neutral zone we know it's dangerous uh on us 30 it's breaking back up green again if it breaks over his arm i mean i'll buy on that so. and he hated the number fever campaign mass hit area resistance number fever campaign was just one of the many ways that America was asserting its dominance. Got to break our average line look in it. Backed off. Trade on that at the moment. Wait. Let me reach that high. A double tap. Top. And he got them all together to sue Pepsi. Ryan look wants to. To break our baseline, baseline and RSI average line that sync together perfectly. Pepsi's 
Candle's going to be crucial. Well, 1.30. Minute 30 left. Green on stochastic. Coming out of an oversold zone. Just trying to creep out of our neutral zone. Not quite there yet. Not done it again. Back. It was. Ranging around. There's no move yet. We're, we're literally waiting for the move. Whichever way the RSI crosses out of that neutral zone, that's going to be the move. See, since the open, we've just had that one sell. Basically, nothing since. Dropping, spiking. Again, backed off. No trade yet on gold. We don't know if those arrest warrants were ever upheld, but it made newspaper headlines across the country. Pepsi did not take kindly to Del Piero's campaign. They tried everything to shut him down. They sued him for libel. My father had to spend three times a month for a branch one for the fight. And another... Gotta have that double confirmation. There was a time uh, my father was hospitalized due to heart failure. Still, he had to attend the. He's red, but plastic's green. Uh, yeah, I'm not doing anything on this. Range. Uh, my father uh, passed away January 13, 2010, after staying for almost. Mm, your said is now backed off, look. Oh, it's gone red. After the death of my father, I was in. Your sell on the 30. Mexico will be remembered for what they did to the consumer. Red. Thickness low, but it's red. When I reached out to Pepsi for comment for this story, they claimed that they didn't have access to anyone who was working at Pepsi that was around in those days. They also said that during COVID-19, they didn't have access to their, their documents about this, but... You know, they were very they were very careful to say that they were sorry for everything that happened. And we do know that Pepsi did try everything to try and make this right. The Pepsi number fever design. Brilliant. Yay, we've got two winners there. Here we go. Nice and easy. Again, that was thirteen and thirteen. So twenty six pounds, about thirty three dollars. On that one, on that cheeky little sell. Remember we're only using small lot size. We need we're not we're not risking our account. Building up the wins steadily. So another two cells on US 30. We were looking for buys and we ended up taking the cells. That's the way it is. That's true scalping. And why did I take the trade? Because RSI came out of the zone red. Plastic's red. Not quite truly oversold. And there was a gap. It pushed down off our trend line. So and that's why I took the trade. That's why I got in and out on just 80, pi 80 points, 80 pips, 8 pips, sorry. So, again, because this could reverse, it will come down lower. But like I say, when stochastics is low, I'm looking for the upside like I thought this was going to be. You know, if the RSI had broken green and this this had been carried up, we'd have gone through up to test our heavy resistance and like 3272. Um, but it hasn't. And a sell instead. So this is a dangerous sell because it's just a slight pullback, not a proper move until we break our trend line. And again, really, the stochastic, you know, it's going to have to do the way it did here, look up and down, range around for a bit. But it only lasts so long before your stochastic goes up. It doesn't always pull price with it, but it just gives you an indication that momentum is swinging the other way. Not going to go in another cell on here. That was in and out. Let's have a look at gold. Gold again. Trying to do what US 30 did. Stochastic's trying to break out of neutral and are trying to get back into it. Well, no joy because look, we are. We're in a danger zone. Never trade around this area. Yeah, this is the danger area. Daily pivot. Keep telling people this. US 30 now breaking down to touch. Trend line, you see, dipping down. 
this way if you miss the trade you, you could go back in again but it's risky because you've sat on support two levels I think it was front page news. that's why it's good to have the alert to your phone of the rsi coming in and out of that neutral zone and then if it syncs up with a stochastic and price action you take the trade if it doesn't you don't take the trade but that's what you need you need that resistance Thomas Rogers. I'm the journalist who wrote the article, The Get Rich Quick Scheme That Nearly Killed a German Soccer Team. Our side 41s, ranging between 40 and 41s, not really doing anything. In the western part gold, Germany. moment, because the gold's looking tasty now. Look, Cassett's pushed higher. Industrial city. That's kind of falling now we've got support, sort of resistance, 1888. Uh, I... Some of the few high points include its soccer team. My name is Ike Henning. I'm a <coughs> and I'm a great fan of Borussia Dortmund. Dortmund fans are super loyal on all match days. The city is in bright and yellow. It's like a religion. I think more than most German cities, uh, soccer does play a very large role in the identity of Dortmund. In October of 2000, the uh, BVB became the first team in the Bundesliga to actually go public. Salaries for uh, soccer players in the Bundesliga have gone up very dramatically. With such high prices, they thought that by, um, by going public, they would be able to compete better with big teams like Bayern Munich. Unfortunately, that didn't go too well. Dortmund bought too many expensive players, high wages, and the club almost went bust in 2005. The price of their shares, uh, it has sometimes gone up, but mostly gone down since they made that decision. So on April 11th, 2017, the team was staying in a hotel on the outskirts of Dortmund. It's backed off, waiting for momentum. Come on, these are going to break. That's our baseline, our resistance here. Look, we're above the daily pivot at last. Four seconds to go. This next candle is the crucial one. Concentrate, be sort of isolated from distractions, things like that. Beautiful. It's nearly there. Not quite. Again, we don't want to be in yet. Plenty in the neutral. Plastics exactly where you want it to be. Ready for match day. Waiting for that RSI. Great. The fans are very excited about matches. Against right, it's smacking its right against the Never take a trade. You're right against or on support, obviously. Shortly before matter what you trade. The players of the team boarded their official team bus. When the bus took off, it's shut up, pulled back. The hotel and turned on the street. There were three three detonations. Get to 1860. 61. So. Three explosions occurred close to the Borussia Dortmund Therefore, bus. The B team bus had just left the hotel. 20. The explosions destroyed two windows in the rear part of the bus. People screamed, people jumped to the ground. The fellow Dortmund fan I was supposed to watch the match with, uh, he called me and said, Turn, 30, on, turn on the TV. There was I said, Look, the yeah, bus, got a nice little like cell, but it's impossible. waiting. Break our trend line, dipping down lower. If they uh, come down, to drive um, to keep driving as fast see it break the trend line, help this, and bounce up. Old investigators or explosive devices used by fifty Borussia Dortmund bus contained metal pins and the one had pierced a seat headrest. Unbeknownst to the team members, the actual one minute left mastermind behind the attack was next candle. Six piling up, she stood. Authorities were attempting to verify a letter left on the scene. Is there enough? Because there had been a series of attacks by Islamic terrorists in Germany and Europe, there was a widespread suspicion in the media that this was another Islamic terrorist attack. Three letters were found at the site of the bombing that took 
credit uh, for the attack on behalf of Islamic State. There were, however, reasons to, to, to doubt this particular narrative. It would actually be a surprise um, if ISIS um, were actually um, part of this, of this attack. It possibly could be um, a ploy by other groups like the far I was trying to get up there. The, blame. the letters had some strange qualities. <coughs> they were written in a strange uh, German that used big, sophisticated words, um, but had basic grammar mistakes, as if someone was native German speaker but pretending to be a foreign person. Federal investigators have detained one man suspected of links to Islamist terrorism, one of two suspects whose apartments were raided this morning. I'm going to bounce off that every time. Shortly after the, the bombing of Over 50. Austria, named Rudolf, who is a, was a big uh, BBB fan, he noticed that something strange was going on on the stock market related to the team shares. Okay, in the 1859 180. Lawyers of BBB, who then forwarded that email. On Not green yet. The email stated that someone had bought 60,000 uh, BBB put options, a wager that the value of the shares. You got that baseline right above, above it, too. Below a certain yeah. price, certain price. Why would someone buy that ahead of a match and then three bombs go off? Uh, something, something, something is right not. This is the area we need to make money help. This is require the stock to go down quite a bit in a fairly short period of time. And it wouldn't just be. Mm. Have a look at silver after this move. As well. It would look at silver. There was another Account. big red flag about this purchase, which is the fact that it had actually been made, number one, on the day of the bombing, but also spread through an IP address that had been traced to the actual hotel where the bombing had taken place. When three explosions targeted the bus carrying the Borussia Dortmund footballers on April the 11th, written notes left at the scene claimed the attack was the work of ISIL. The truth so now backed off now the gate. Is remarkable. On Wriggling. April 21st, the oh, police minute 30 left. 30, oh, he's breaking, breaking down, look. And his name was Sergei red, we got red. Unlikely suspects, uh, because he had no known connections to the uh, Islamic uh, terror world, he didn't seem like a far-right extremist, he didn't seem... Like side, 5, 33, creeping down, look. ...to be a completely unremarkable young man. A 28-year-old German-Russian man named only as Sergei W., Stayed in Gold. the hotel as the players on the night before the bombing. Left. He specifically requested an upper room overlooking the bushes where the explosive devices were hidden. Brilliant. We've got two more wins on US 30. And this time we've got 15 and 16. 31 pounds, about $40. So again, good. And he noticed that in the aftermath of the attack, our confirmation, Dick and believe that if an attack uh, took place that was running. Back off, looks back off into the red. So again, you're not taking a buy or a sell of that. US 30, there you go. Why did I take that trade? Because we saw the candle broke our trend line. Same time RSI was coming out the neutral zone and stochastic is still red. And again, why did I get out? Because look, you know, that's levels of support there. Trade I took of a win. And we've got an trend line form in here, look as well. Down wedge now. You just gotta wait. Just gonna wait on this. See if this is if this level of support is broken, then we're going down lower. The RSI hits that 25, magical 25. We know we're in for a quick in and out. I'll just keep an eye on the stochastic. Keep an eye on that. Really low on our level at two. So it's looking to reverse at some point. Now it will definitely reverse on the neutral support. It's whether we can just catch this level here. Um, gold decided to go against. But if we get red on the stochastic at the top, that's a perfect example. Take for a sell. Again, zoom here. Let's just see. It'd be coming down again. We could get five to ten pips on this. Stochastic, closing up, it's not red though, just come out of the zone. Good, for a sell though possibly. Ready. Um, 
like a woman. Rebecca is You're not gonna be in it long. Very troubled home life. She ultimately sees Thirty. her relationship with What's Vinergold that? as an opportunity to leave that troubled home. Vinergold Top curling down a Russian immigrant to Germany. She speaks What's so yeah. One of the best combination I told you is when a stochastic reverses at the top on the bottom and you get the RSI coming out the neutral zone. They're the perfect setups. Along with obviously price action not being sat on. And he threatens to commit suicide if she leaves him. Vinergold apparently Yeah, it's just just below our, our neutral our daily support. Bit of a dangerous area, that's why I'm not jumping in. The RSI can poke back into the neutral for being a buy. Wait for this candle to finish. Got 40 seconds left. Look, it's just retreated up. If you're going to be selling, you want to be selling at the, you know, highest part of the candle. He claimed that he had nothing to do with the attack, but as time went, yeah, just widened. Our size gone back up again. Built the explosive. 30 seconds to go. But he claimed that he wants to actually kill anybody. Plenty. Not missing any. They're not missing anything on silver. No. Nah moving slow still a considerable amount in in jail in the end 13 so yeah. 10 seconds let's see You're hitting the cell button yep good looking good then you can get Fly, fly pigeons, fly. Good lord, that was a nice wound back at 8 a.m. Eastern. Yeah. The threat of an asteroid hitting Earth is very real. If it's big enough, it's also very finite. These are very, very infrequent events. The probability is not zero, though. At US 30. US 30 is also, again, it's gone green, so you'd be out of the cell, which I, I did do as it hit that zone there. That's what you're watching for. Flip. Again, we want, want to be green and green. It's just off the area here. So. And a little bit uh, if it hits like 25 we could be in for a sale if we get the green, uh, the red again Think. however one thing is certain we haven't found them all there are thousands out there and we don't know where they are brown same red on the stochastic red on the eye Right away on this area here breaks this boom. Scientists all over the world are working towards detecting and deflecting the most catastrophic of natural disasters. Hey. The race is on to find as many of these objects as we can. We have a way of calculating whether or not an asteroid is potentially dangerous or not. I mean, I think it's something worth investing in. <laughs> it's our existence at stake, right? Drop on Dax. Are we looking at Dax? Yeah, I'm watching Dax right now. Reach to it in a minute. Asteroids and comets are a natural hazard. See if. Like a lot of other natural hazards. Uh, these are very, very Pop. infrequent events. These collisions. Back on. Meteorological function impacts the Earth. The most important thing that we need to know about asteroids is you know, when the next impact is going to happen and how bad it will be. What we know is that an object that's about say a kilometer across is capable of causing very very wide devastation across that's the planet, really truly global devastation so, the object that wiped out the dinosaurs was no. an average of five to ten kilometers across or even bigger than that at a In, kilometer it's still going to be very down and bad and will have back effect. for objects that are capable of causing what i would call sort of regional damage kind of a large major metropolitan area a city and its surrounding environment they look around 100 ish meters it depends on the details of the composition and so forth. By the 1980s, NASA was cataloging near Earth objects. 
1994, stargazers watching. I'm just going to go and top my coffee up back in a sec while we watch. Congress tasked NASA with finding 90% of asteroids and comets one kilometer wide or larger. Soon after, Hollywood blockbusters Armageddon and Deep Impact brought attention and fear to the masses. The great news is that the vast majority, more than 90% of all the really large one kilometer near-Earth objects have been found. The challenge now is working down to these smaller sizes that are still quite capable of causing a lot of damage. But they're just harder to spot because they're so, they're so small. Can you give us a sense of how many are out there in our solar system? We know that there are a lot of asteroids in our solar system. They number in the billions. Most of them, however, are between uh, Mars and Jupiter in what we call the main asteroid belt. This is a region of space where most of the asteroids in the inner part of our, our solar system live, and they stay there for many billions of years. There is another population, though, that kind of sneaks inward and gets into a region somewhat close to the Earth, and we call these near-Earth objects. We think that there are millions and millions of near-Earth objects that are out there in the total population. As of today, we know of sort of around 20, 25,000, something like that. When we first spot an object, we really know very little about it. We just see something moving across the sky. So all we get is just sort of a handful of snapshots, just enough to be able to tell that this isn't an asteroid that we've already seen before. And then once we can calculate the distance to it, we can now start to make predictions about its true size. Is it large or is it small? So we have a lot of information, but we have to wait pretty quickly to really understand what's going on. Finding asteroids is just one piece of the puzzle. Planetary scientists are extremely skilled in determining the orbits and speeds of asteroids based on relatively small amounts of data. NASA runs simulations of the trajectories asteroids could take, which is useful, but time-consuming. A team of scientists in the Netherlands found a way to buy us more time. Our method is very quick, so you can very quickly get an assessment of whether or not the object is dangerous or not. If you look at the classical way of determining the danger of an asteroid, it may take you know, days of computing time on very big machines, to, uh, to determine this, this uh, hazardousness. The current problem is that there's just too many asteroids out there to uh, spend a huge amount of uh, computational power on all of them. So the neural network allows... All right, we're back. Whew, nice, top, top. All right, let's have a look. Pose a hazard to Earth. Oh, there we go. In a set of data. By training the network in this way, we There's 30, yeah, pulling back, green stochastic, but red. That are most likely to hit the planet. Gold, going down again, RSI 41. So, let's see if we get on this. Having orbits similar to the ones which we know are hitting the planet. That doesn't mean that they do, but it, does, it only means that down. they're very similar to the ones which we know they do. What else did you find? Should we be particularly concerned about it? And RSI 40. What did find is that um, our neural network was able to go and um, identify a handful of asteroids which weren't considered potentially hazardous. Brilliant. Hey, we did it. We went what did we get? We got three wins on the gold cell, uh, which I set just before I went downstairs, and we got uh, 26, 18, and 11. So 26... 30, 40, 50, about $75 on that little move down. Very nice. So, that. Go. Three winners on gold sell. And again, why did I take that trade? Again, because plastic was red, curling down from an over position. RSI just crept out of the zone. Why did I get out? Because again, it's about to hit the support zone and form a second leg. What will you <laughs> see? I'm trading a center leg here. So, the scalping. Well, that was enough for $75. There you go. They're uh, kind of thinking. And then you launch asteroids from the surface as if they, if you go 
traded the center leg quick well either now it's how long it took to go downstairs and top up me drink so again it's going to go lower it could go lower obviously like i say some people can do true trades and hold it till stochastic goes green could nip in again but like i say i'm looking at the pattern that i'm or we're forming as well so that's important keep that in mind as well the chance of this just going down 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 is slim could happen could come all the way back down to 850 here but could also bounce now we've got a secondary trend line look you see so it could come down lower rsi just a little bit range eh? but as the stochastic points down and rsi dips down we're in for another sell um so what two minutes left on Again, that's nice. I did three positions on that. Only 0 0.6. That's enough. I ended it manually. I didn't wait for it to be my TP. Like I said, that's all where price action is. And we're, a, we're a playing against our neutral instance. Uh, daily Careful. <coughs> right, we're going to look away from gold now. Let's go to DAX. Look, just... Oh yes, look at the moves on DAX. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Right, that's DAX then. DAX, we're trading three lot sizes. Looks like it's lost a little steam right there where it's at. Oh god, yeah. Just, yeah, I need to pick it up on a bad position. Yeah, that was a good sell here. Definitely, look at that. Break on the trend line, RSI, stochastic, everything, and you knew where you were going to get out of the trend. So, you know, I was a win. Signal on the ball as well. And if you're trading this, you know, definitely got it high there. Massive buy. Oh. Got on a buy there. Sell there. Trend line. Trading the set leg. Buy there. Trend line again. Sell there. There are all your trades you should have done. Dax just by using this. Make up an informal network that survey the heavens. But that may not be enough. NASA wants more resources to map our solar system and better to trading a M pattern. Pushing down lower look now. Is it gonna break that zone? Can go against our baseline and then look. Pop a new little zone in there too. See if it sticks. Once we get more observations, we get better data. If you look at the big impact we have had in the last potential for 10, this is it. You've got six seconds to the next candle. Let's have a look. But the danger, the real danger, I think, comes from the objects we don't know about and not from quite nicely. This particular natural disaster, like a lot of natural disasters, is on climate change using the problem of the global commons. So the thing that we risk collectively is the brilliant in and out. What did I get? Um, 20 pounds. So $26. Hey, there you go. That'll do, mate. I kind of imagine in the future, maybe lots of small satellites around the Earth that are always going and looking outward. Two cells on DAX. Fine. Looking at stochastic. Again, if it goes 25 here, look, we could be in again. Be in again. Space to go. Hey, and there, what did we get? Got another $12. There you go. Jumped in for another cheeky one.
Little wins that add up. 25. Now is it going to again? It's just we're close to that baseline. That's why I'm just not holding. That's you know quite close against it. The pandemic has affected everyone <clears throat> in different ways. Some just looking good. Bacon. Homemade sourdough bread. Do I need to say more? Some chose to binge watch Netflix. I'm gonna go bright red. Let's break this line. Come back down. Or maybe you started a garden oasis in your yeah, backyard. Basic. I'm going to put my lettuces in. But for millions of others, I'm going to be posting stocks that will f boom. They wanted to uproot the financial industry. Let's just lock it on up and take fifty thousand dollars. Here's your stock that can change your life. I see a stock going up and I buy it and I just watch it until it stops going up and then I sell it. I have gained over three million dollars. I want some free money. I don't think you can overstate the online community for social media's influence on financial markets. A large group of inexperienced investors discuss their plans on social media platform Reddit. Go bright red look. Nice. Sat just on our baseline. To be careful. Video game retailer GameStop is set to continue their head spinning ascent today. The revolutionaries on Reddit are spanking Wall Street's ass. Not to form a second leg. This isn't a wealthy person's game anymore. Anyone can play it. I took up a little bit of a new hobby, and I am interested in day trading. As an investor nowadays, you don't have to look a specific way. You don't have to wear specific clothes. You don't have to be doing it from the trading floor on Wall Street in like a high-rise building in, in, in downtown Manhattan. The narrative of what's driving the market is no longer being held in secret offices in New York and Boston of privileged people talking to other privileged people. It's right out in the open. It's on Twitter. It's on Reddit. From brokerage apps to Discord channels and subreddits to TikTok finfluencers, one of the last holdouts in the world of disruption, Binance. Want to go lower? Next candle is the key one. Two minutes to go. Just wait. Investing should that next candle. Do the same look. Really broke. Broke nicely. To disrupt the world of stock trading, like Amazon disrupted the world of home shopping. And I think that speaks to exactly the mission that a platform like Robinhood, sixteen, has, which is to democratize investing. Robinhood was started in 2013 by Vlad Tenet and Baiju Bak in where else Silicon Valley as an alternative to the big brokerages. But with one big there, I got 17. I got $23. We go straight in and out. We'd mess around. US 30. Two cells on US 30. That. Why? Because there's a gap. Look, gap between that and the bottom. Jump in, but I just cautious that the RSI was right on um, 15 level. So I just that's why I just. But it was a bonus trade that bonus trade just make quick twenty five dollars. I hold that when it's so. It looks just kicking up now. See, I did well to get out. Risky trade, but I just just jumped in. I saw that gap. Back to Dax. Fifty seconds. I told you the next candle is the crucial one. So see, get a bounce up for a buy or the stochastic squeezing. Have a look. So it could be over. Next handle, go back to DAX, in, let's see, 13, 10 seconds, 10 seconds to go. Bright red on the RSI. Nearly. Picked up, look at that, it's gone up there. Yeah, there you go, as I said, looks green now, stochastic's green. RSI 29, 28, so again, gotta be careful. Bounced off. 
bounce stuff in nicely, working its way back up. So you just want to be careful. That's, that's why it's good to have these levels, you see. You can see. It could still go down, but you want to see the stochastic red. 27, push in. Wait. The good thing about having the stochastic now it just stops you automatically just assuming it's going to go lower, it's going to go higher, which way. Need that double confirmation. Welcome to the AWS Cloud Cafe. Listen, we don't usually trade DAX at this time, but it's done okay for us, so. A bit figure out how to monetize those users and how even with their small account sizes to get them to grow with the company and as it releases Dax started the rally late last night uh yeah. 20 welcome to the aws cloud cafe like it wants to push down a bit lower. Part of the second leg M. Got to break our baseline. Thirty seconds to go. Robinhood would become one of the COVID economy's great successes. Robinhood, as they're called, became the shorthand explanation for the frenzy of often speculative retail investing after the pandemic lockdown. Kids wake up in the morning, they go on Robinhood. They're, you know, in the shower, they check Robinhood. Kids are learning how the stock market works at 18 while they're at school, you know, checking their phones in between classes because notifications pop up telling them what their stocks are doing that day. With these new tools, millennials and Gen Z are investing in the market Red. in ways their parents could have never even dreamt of. That is sort of the theme when we talk about the divide between older and younger generations is that the younger generation is exposed to so much more information and tools at their disposal to do what they want in the markets. The older generation, you never had the technology or the cost structure that you could play the markets like you can today. So you were stuck with giving your money to a professional investor and paying them a fee to do it. When I speak to young kids, they tell me I'm making mistakes. I'm losing money. I'm not a perfect investor, but I'm 18. And by the time I'm 30, which will be, you know, 10 years from now, I'm going to have interacted with the markets for a decade. And so it's a learning experience more so than anything else. And you can look at it and you can say, wow, that's, you know, that's risk taking. That's sound, well, there you go. Yeah, got two more wins there. Uh, got 20 and 20. I set it to 80 pips, uh, eight pips, eight, eight points. Point, so another forty pounds. So that's about sixty-five dollars. We go on that sell on Dax. Beautiful. Got in as soon as it went twenty-five and saw it break that level. We'll go lower. You know, risky again. Yep. Took that. Go. Who sells? Dax. On Wall Street, information is its own currency. Historically, either you had it or you did it, and the people who had it had no, it's gonna go lower if we if it breaks holds on this or break. Effect. It would be one person telling another person over the phone. In fact, when I broke into this business in the, the, the stochastic was still kind of green flat. I just, you know, when you see it go bright red and it's breaking down, no, I'm gonna get some pips. Uh, you know, whether this is gonna be a bigger move now or bounce, I don't know. It's flat. All right. I'll fix that. To go do some real work for the day. <laughs> this is real work. Good about bro. This is. Yeah, no, bro. 
is it yeah now i'm going to stir them for a little bit another another 10 10 15 minutes or so because we're on a roll so well thanks for joining me all the way over there Always, brother. and uh, we'll everybody be back, we'll be back tomorrow for the cpi news the inflation news there'll be a bit more volatility tomorrow so hopefully you'll be back for then yeah beautiful i should be available nice one bro and i'll catch you later on maybe for the ipa crude oil news as well just as the u.s session ends yeah there we moment. go all right everybody trade safe we'll catch you guys tomorrow yeah take care take care bro Kayla Kilbride and Kyla Scanlon are two of those financial influencer TikTokers, also known as Finfluencers. I think people still care about fashion, they still care about culture, but it's also like there's this big behemoth thing called the stock market that we really don't know a whole lot about, and it's gatekept within industry. And so people like want to unpack that. And so my audience is um, a lot of them. We'll just wait and see if we get a move on this, on Dax. That level kind of disappeared, the blue zone broken our uh, uh, baseline which is good Let's see if we get anything on this or not not into positions yet we've had a good good winning streak Same thing, look down. Can I still buy this business? Good. And a ton of women just like attacked that video and were like, You explain things so much better than my boyfriend or my professor, or like, I could sit and listen to you all day. And I was like, Gee, this is what I was looking for. <laughs> but TikTok's algorithm does not reward calm and measured videos about responsible investing. $15 on US 30. On that cell there, that was nice. I try not to say the A word, the A L G L word, <laughs> because TikTok listens to us. <laughs> the algorithm does impact how you feel. You know, you do notice which videos do better versus which videos do worse. How do you catch someone's attention in less than 60 seconds? And how do you make it something that they're like, I need uh, to think US 30 is. It's impossible to do that in 60 seconds. But the people who perfect it are the people that you're going to watch and you're going to stick around. And where people are sticking around, Reddit, and it's nearly countless subreddits about finance. And by far the biggest one of those is Wall Street Bets. There's a lot of social media platforms out there, but Reddit is like another. The yeah, you got another win on US 30. So, like Wall Street Bets. Sells, there we go. Started in January 2012. It wasn't long before Wall Street Bets good why did i take the sell because obviously we keep breaking the points of interest now because we're bottom of there so it's good Stimulus checks now clearly this money is going to people who need to use that to off that now off that level pushing up out the zone bed in the stock market. Good. And it's not just stock tips. People quote Dax Yolo well, higher life savings or stimulus checks on a single stock. Center leg called maybe lost boy. Screen grabbing staggering hits and misses on stocks for the entire community to see. I'm about to lose everything. And while some of the people on Wall Street Bets are novice investors, the community contains multitudes. In one respect, what it did group. show us among these network groups is they are very sophisticated. They're not a bunch of ignorant people talking to other ignorant people. And this is where the people of the public all come together and have on Wall Street for a solid year in early 2021. It's pretty clear that the combination of more people having retail
PayPal brokerage accounts and trading apps and more people being stuck at home <laughs> for some kind of entertainment or some kind of community online came together in this very singular way. What came together is GameStop. Let's go back to the beginning of what happened with GameStop a couple of years ago. On the boards like Reddit and StockTwit, a lot of people were talking about GameStop as being attractive value. Some of them are even, you know, Wall Street alums who, who left the industry and now still have access to tools that they can use to improve their financial well-being and make very good decisions. And I think Roaring Kitty is a perfect example of that. So we've walked to 1500 from a 900 start, so really good session. See all the results there with that. We've got a nice support level here. 30 DAX was just a DQ retest before it goes down low. We just don't know the way the market is. And we'll just follow and watch. Like I say, you just got to wait for that double confirmation on everything. Like now, there's no buys. Green on the plastic and red. Then when you were 30, pretty much identical. So we will just see. We got another four minutes just to go till till 4 p.m. UK time. 11 a.m. New York time. So. 90 minutes trading, more than enough. Come up with the money to buy the stock back. And the Thank you again for everyone joining me. And that's what's called a short squeeze. Going you the addition of our system of the stochastic. Again, the settings are tailored for our X trading system. They're not the yet. Just from being caught in the short so if anybody wants to gain access to all this, all you've got to do is message me at mohawk.com and um, group uh, you get me as your mentor and justin as well who was on earlier how to choose scalp trying to do every day markets are open in and out on a three minute time frame using axe fundamentals knowledge of the markets that's what you know, there's nothing really happening now between now and kind of a few hours time. We've got some Fed speaks and then we'll be back to trade the food oil news wrong, which is one of my favorite trades. But I'm going to look at hold the line and not sell GameStop. People are getting cheerleaded for jumping in, buying at the highs. They're saying keep going. And it was working to stream today. That range come down off a low. Again, we could have got a sell here. Again, we're just looking for wood or hundred. That's enough on oil. Oh, so you would have had a sell from here. Had a nice. Oh, you could have gone for a buy there, aggressive because you're below the average line. But you could have got. A, it's been in a range then, doing nothing, 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 nothing. Keeps red there, maybe. Might have been tempted, but. It's ranging, you know, uh, a lot of crucial $100 level, $2 at the moment. <clears throat> but we'll have this set up later on for the API. Good. Seeing if the uh, Dax is going any lower. Uh, look, sweet. Down again, you see. While the frenzy around GameStop eventually subsided, it didn't take long for retail investors to find other areas to invest their money. Take a look at Bitcoin going bananas over the weekend. Bitcoin formed a brand new all-time high. It was after GameStop started to drop that we saw Bitcoin really go up to over sixty thousand. How much further did you? Thirty. Still wanted to get a sell. The RSI is just creeping back down again. 
hitting its head on on our baseline. There's a chart out there showing an inverse correlation on meme stocks going down and cryptocurrencies going up. There's definitely an aspect where people are making money on stocks and then moving, you know, they're agnostic, they're not hedge funds. They can invest wherever the hell they want. It's a classic sort of momentum trade. They're going to wherever the winners are and they're willing to jump on and, you know, ride it. So whether Bring it round on like GameStop, meme coins like Dogecoin, or entirely new ways to invest in art like NFTs, the new kind of retail investor is making its presence known. Over the next 10, maybe 15 years, and we just got a nice win on US 30 there. Choice or buy force, Look. Go from older generation to younger hey, well, we took a loss of 642 on DAX for some reason, but going to be the thing that I think it might have been my broken. Took a How people dirty instead. So. Let's red. Win. Usually what disrupts see if DAX could come down in lower, it's gonna do any more. Ranging around banging its head on there. online retailing to brick and mortar. They come in and they're in the same Happy with that. Have some red at some point. <laughs> Ruin the chart. Everybody to switch. Well that's the risk that happened here is that it's so much cheaper to just manage your own money. We're not there yet, but us in conveniences are moving in that direction. They were up to fifteen hundred from the start of nine hundred and fifty, so you know that's six hundred dollars. Pretty good. Pretty good going on that. Gonna be anything like this. Bloomberg's own David Nicholson. Now, his happy place. I was just ranging around a little bit. Like I say, you know, Scassic Screen, RSI is red. You, you need to all, all sync up. So it's going to range around a little bit as it does DAX this time of day. Um, so we're just going to focus on oil. STI. Our next trade. As more and more families pack up and leave the big city to try out life in the burbs. But there's one problem with that. Not all internet speeds are created equal. Anyone who might need to upload or download large files for a may not want to pack up and move to that cabin in the woods just yet. Now, David's house isn't a cabin, but it is in the woods. And inexplicably, his internet is workable. My internet is okay. I pay a lot for it. The hey, I went on oil there. What did we get? 13 pounds. Uh, about seventeen dollars has jumped in. A final trade for the stream, just to show. <laughs> Quick one. GK. Why? Because stochastic was red. Our guy was red. Price action just broke below baseline. Could have held it, but. You know, in the stream, I just wanted to do a quick one on oil because I'll do that later on. Um, good, so we're uh, well happy with that. Done. So I don't from when we did after the open. This is a problem, and the solutions are not there yet because high speed internet in rural areas on mass is something our providers may simply not be ready for. If your internet service does 29 trades we've done since the open, 29 positions and just two losses. So well up for the day. 
I could say we're, we're you know the twenty percent. So I'll have it could cost a lot more at a lot less service. Yeah, it just shows you can do it. And this combination of the stochastic and the RSI definitely works. You just have to figure it all out with the price action. However, how support and resistance there's some points of interest to get off the best chance of an entry. And like that, I just jumped straight on the oil, saw that move, got in there, got out, and that's what true scalping is about. Either to hang around, if the position's there, the situation's there, you take the trade. If it's not, you don't. You saw we just hang around, we did. I mean, Justin, waiting, sitting, waiting, drinking coffee, whatever is majority of what you do trading. Look at that move on DAX now, beautiful. Perfect move. And trying to get the search engine giant to look at their town. The internet to Too close to that. Oh, I'd love to be in the world, to be a part of the world, and to be It's very close to a support line now, so again look, Castic's red, guys red. Somebody might have nipped in on that really quick. Over the next several years, he would attend conferences and pitch venture capitalists and apply right, so vision on DAX. One of the biggest roadblocks to building infrastructure for the internet in the United States are the existing large providers. They have their land state. That's perfect. They would prefer that nobody come in and compete against them in 2013. Pushing down. That's what you got to do. I tell you, just focus on the ones that you like the look of. You can follow the markets. Nice double top look. I mean, you can't get a better double top than that. Uh, we got a $60 million market weather position. Uh, it took. Then in March of right there. The pandemic hit the we jumped in again. Around about there. And off on that can. They should do it. You great example of a double top and jumping in using the rsi and the casting so i hope that's helped some of you out there true scalpers i mean a thing now true scalping The American connectivity gap does largely affect and how the stochastic outside of service coverage or simply adds to the con family moved to Nevada, which it does. A couple miles down the road from David, they took for granted that high speed internet would just exist. So, uh, not something you join me tomorrow where we're going to be doing uh, well, I'll in the group, I'll be doing the Euro Open and London Open as always. Uh, but for tomorrow, it's the CPI inflation, US news. Uh, that's the big one we'll be trading tomorrow, as you can see. So I'm looking at our economic calendar. The oil later on, we're trading inside our group. And tomorrow we've got, uh, well, later on, you've got CPI for China, if that grabs you. We've got CPI uh, inflation for the euro. Then the big one, really, tomorrow, the one to look out for is the US one. So... We'll be live like an hour before New York open and we'll trade through until um could be there until yeah, until we have the EIA crude and the and the gas at three thirty. So we'll do a two hour live stream tomorrow. That's compared to almost until then. See as always, as Justin says, trade safe. And hope you enjoyed that stream. Give us a like if you did, share, tell people about through scalping, which is what we're all about. That move on oil now, perfect, perfect. Red and the red in, sort of held it, heavy support now. So you, yeah, you can just go on and on, I love it. <laughs> through scalping's the way team, but uh, thanks for joining me and catch you on the next live stream. Till then, trade safe.